write a program that acts as a calendar. It should contain a class with information about meetings, where it is, when it happens, how long it lasts, who will be there, and more. The program should be also to save appointments and when the user enters a date, the day's appointments should list. It must also be possible to obtain the details of a specific meeting. In the program, it should go to add, delete, and change appointments. Use different classes for different types of meetings and take advantage heritage in object-oriented programming. For this, we are going to start a new project, console application, name it and create, and it appears in Windows and all those uh, namespaces and uh, classes must be included here and uh, complete uh, also. In uh, class program, we are, uh, use, uh, we are defining uh, uh, global variables, strings, month, date, meeting, where, time, until, who, annotation, and s equals to y for repetition, and uh, we are going to define an integer m equals zero, and we are going to have a list uh, of strings and call it meeting, and in uh, main uh, method, we are going to use a set window size 150 and 50. It must be uh, so uh, this uh, size. And the while s equals y. Do you want add, edit, or remove in the calendar? A for add, E for in, uh, edit, R for remove, and N for no and uh, for quit uh, and take you. We are going to uh, choose a, uh, an item and we are going to read it in and put it in S. If S is N, then ref refill calendar and uh, turn S as Y. If S is Q, uh, terminate the program, else we are going to um, please enter month and read it in month. Date of meeting, where time, time, end time, start time, end time, uh, who attend, annotation, and we are going to uh, read it in uh, all those uh, strings. And we are going to use a string QQ equals all those red, uh, uh, red, uh, um, uh, amount and we are going to put in a string s uh, qq it is all of them with a spaces between and if s a is a means add and m is greater than zero we are going to call the uh, method add month, date, time, until QQ in QQ. And if S is A, but M is zero, we are going to use the meeting dot add QQ. Uh, we are going to uh, add the meeting. And else if S equals E, we are going to call the method edit, month, date, and uh, QQ. And else if S R R remove and M is uh, positive, we are going to call the delete method and we are going to increment M and we are going to call the re refill calendar method and uh, put it S equals Y. In method uh, add, in method add, we have uh, five uh, parameters, one, two, three, four, five parameters. 
and we are going to use a string b equals empty and for int for i between 0 until count uh, variable q uh, equals meeting dot element at i dot split with uh, spaces and if q0 is month and q1 is date and the integer converted integer value of q4 and converted to integer uh, time 0 and integer uh, converted integer of q5 is all those three is less than uh, integer part of uh, time or integer part of uh, q4 and uh, converted to integer until zero and uh, if it is uh, such a conditions then you are going to use meeting dot insert plus plus i and q0 and b equals ex extra else if this is that condition it is the whole way these conditions then you are going to use that you are busy in that datum and time and b equals not then else you are going to use meeting dot insert plus plus i q zero and b is equal okay and then we are going to define the delete method has one parameter for i zero until uh, count string q is meetings dot element at i and if q dot equals q zero meeting dot remove at i and i increments med, uh, meeting dot count then we are going to define the edit method with three parameters and we are going to use uh, specify uh, 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 which one you will edit 0 1 2 and so on int v equals int dot parse console read line for i between 0 until count variable q is meeting that dot element at i dot split with the spaces and q0 is month and q1 is date we are going to remove at i plus v and we are going to put we first remove what is there and then we are going to put insert i plus v and q0 and we are going to increment uh, i with count in method fill calendar when uh, we use n we uh, only uh, fill the calendar and uh, in calendar it is j equals zero and we leave an empty line and for i from one uh, less than 13 we are going to call the date time uh, class date equals new date time 2019 i and one because we have 12 months and we are going to use a space string a space and the, then we are going to have an array uh, uh, of uh, strings day of week equals we are using the enumeration this name of days with three characters and make an array and it is nerum dot get names type of day of week and uh, select x delicate space plus x dot sub strings zero three plus a space and dot two array we make an array string month name is 
date-time format info dot current info dot get month name of date dot month and date of month is uh, is a, a, a variable date dot month which is this one and a string year month string string dot format date of year and month name that month name and that uh, day of uh, year date year and in cell length day of week this day of week of zero dot length it is make a cell length and line length cell length multiple day of week that length it make a line and int padding it is line length divided by two plus one minute minus year month string dot length divided by two and string year month line equals string dot format pad left of padding year month string and we are going to write year month line that one and then we are going to put a dashes and then we are going to use a, a string dot we are writing string dot join that uh, space and day of week concatenates all elements in array with a separator between and we are going to make a list array of a string call it calendar and calendar dot add day of week uh, connect the days of week to calendar and in current day of week value is integer um, implicit uh, integer of day dot day of week and the uh, int care month is date dot month and previous padding equals uh, space dot pad left current day of week value multiplied by the length and a comma space and while date dot month is current month it is this one while current day of week value less than day of week dot length and date dot month is current month then string cell equals string dot format previous padding space date day uh, dot day to string dot pad left with that padding spaces and the uh, previous padding equals the uh, empty string and we are going to write the cell and date equals date dot add day one returns a new date term that adds the specific day number which starts with one current day of week value uh, we increment the value and the loop is uh, finished and then after that inner loop we are going to uh, put current day of week value equals zero it starts from uh, the beginning and we are going to leave a empty line okay now we are going to uh, define the refill method uh, it is the same as the fill method all of them, them are, are the same as before and then in a while method uh, in a while method uh, for inner loop we are going to use uh, another uh, loop for loop uh, and uh, int l equals zero until meeting.com p is li uh, equal meetings dot element at l dot split with the spaces 
and uh, we are going to use if i equals int dot parse a p of zero and date dot day equals in uh, int parse p of one then we are going to make a, a highlight it with the dark blue and the uh, text is white and string cell zero it is as the same as above uh, above previous uh, padding as above and we are going to write the cell zero and we are going to use reset color otherwise the whole uh, uh, month is going to be highlighted and uh, we are going to go back again to day uh, one and then uh, we are going to increment current day of week value and it is uh, those loop are closed and we are going to use the uh, uh, string cell equals the same as above before previous and write cell and date uh, uh, fill the rest of the uh, calendar days that part was uh, for meeting when we uh, uh, make a, a fill uh, with a sp uh, special meetings and when it is uh, uh, correct when it is filled the rest of the uh, calendar we are going to close it and we are going uh, to go to the start uh, from the beginning and empty line and it is end of outer loop and we are going again to leave a empty line and date time date new date time 2019 I am 1 and for M from 0 until uh, count we are going to use q meeting dot element at m dot split and we are going to uh, check if in push q of zero is uh, i we are going to use the same uh, t tell that you have an appointment on uh, uh, this uh, datum and uh, yeah we are going to write uh, what is the appointment you are busy in that day and we are going to leave a dashed line and it is close okay I hope that you have uh, paused the video when I uh, went through uh, line for line and uh, copy the uh, code sources okay now we are running control F5 I am going to add uh, we are going to have a month 6 day 20 meeting birthday where home 18 start point until 23 and um, who append many and annotation happy birthday and it is uh, it is here in June 20 June you have an appointment on 20 June 2019 meeting birthday on uh, 18 until 23 at home uh, attendance there are many and annotation is happy now we are going to and it is highlighted also now we are going to uh, remove month six datum twenty uh, and it was birthday and it is home and it was eighteen until twenty three who attend these uh, many and it was happy birthday. 
day and now it has been uh, disappeared from June and it is clean you can uh, add and then use edit change uh, uh, what you want and uh, uh, use it and uh, or you can have n or quit okay it was all in this tutorial see you on next tutorial